Hi everyone, Jason from Makeara here with another Carvera how-to. And in this one, we're looking at how to install and configure the new upgraded fourth axis module with harmonic drive system on our Carvera desktop CNC. This new version of the fourth axis module uses a harmonic drive system instead of the belt driven system used in the original fourth axis module available for the Carvera desktop CNC. The harmonic drive has four times the torque compared to the original fourth axis, and the backlash for this new harmonic drive system when operating under maximum load has been reduced to only 0.3 degrees when compared to 3 degrees on the original fourth axis as well. The new harmonic drive also has a mechanical homing function, allowing the fourth axis to now perform homing operations similar to the X, Y, and Z axes on the Carvera desktop CNC. An upgraded firmware for the Carvera and Carvera controller app includes support for setting your work coordinate systems when working with the 4th Axis module too. Now in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to install the new 4th Axis module with Harmonic Drive, as well as the wiring harness that comes with this 4th Axis module, which differs from the original for the Carvera desktop CNC. This step may vary depending on your machine as described in the user guide for the new 4th axis module with harmonic drive. To be able to connect this 4th axis module, a new wiring adapter will need to be installed on all Carvera CNCs that have a serial number which starts with C1, while Carveras with a serial number that starts with C1R will have this wiring adapter for the new 4th axis module pre-installed. But for those of us that need to install this new wiring adapter for the harmonic drive 4th axis, Let's get started. To start, remove the dustpin and disconnect the dust pipe from the exit port on the top left corner of the machine. Next, remove the rear cover of the Carvera by removing the 12 Allen screws and six Phillips head screws as shown in the wiring adapter user manual included with the fourth axis harmonic drive kit. With the rear cover removed, we need to remove the dust collection chamber and motor by removing the two bolts under the gantry and the one screw towards the top of the unit on the rear of the machine as shown. You may also carefully unplug the vacuum motor so that the dust collection chamber may be placed off the side during installation of our wiring adapter. Now working from the inside of the machine, we can install the wiring adapter as shown in the user manual. First, remove the existing screw holding the left side panel on the lower left side of the machine as shown. Using this open screw hole, we can install and secure the wiring adapter with the longer M4 by 20 screw included in the wiring adapter kit. We can then use the wiring clips included in the adapter kit to route the wiring harness towards the rear of the machine along the side panel. As shown, ensure that these wires are taut so they will not catch on the dust bin when reinstalled later on. Using the cable ties provided in the adapter kit, you can route the wiring adapter harness up towards the rear of the controller board following the existing wires in the rear left corner of the machine. With our wires secured, we can now return to the rear of the machine with the wiring adapter harness routed into the location of the controller board. We need to connect the new wiring adapter to the controller board as shown in the user manual. First, disconnect the existing green fourth axis connector from the motor A port on the top row of terminals as shown. Then connect the new green fourth axis terminal from the wiring adapter harness in its place. Next, connect the orange connector included in the wiring adapter harness to the open terminal of the controller board labeled EXT. Lastly, we need to merge the new harness with the existing tool setter harness located in the terminals on the right side of the controller board as shown. Using the T-type quick connector included in the adapter kit, connect the single cable of the wiring adapter harness to the white cable of the existing tool setter port as shown. Ensure a tight connection is made by closing and locking the T-type connector using pliers. And by disconnecting the original fourth axis terminal and replacing it with the one with our new wiring adapter harness, we will also no longer use these connection ports on the side of the bed for the fourth axis and manual probe, but instead use the new ones for our wiring adapter that we just installed. We can then put our Carvera back together by reinstalling the dust collector chamber using the screw and bolts we removed earlier, then by reinstalling the back cover. We recommend inserting all of the back cover screws loosely first before tightening them down. Lastly, we can reconnect the dust pipe and reinsert the dust bin around our new wiring adapter harness. And the last step to complete this wiring adapter harness installation is to update the firmware of the Carvera desktop CNC using the Carvera controller app. Ensuring that we're using the Carvera controller app with a version of 0.9.10 or later, 
we can update the firmware of the Corvera to version 1.0.2 or later, as shown in another one of our tutorials. Both the Corvera controller app and Corvera firmware can be downloaded for free from the software page of our website and updated within the upgrade window of the Corvera controller app. After the Carvera updates and restarts automatically, we can reconnect to the Carvera in our Carvera controller app in order to enable the new wiring adapter. To do this, enter the command enable underscore fourth underscore HD in the MDI window as shown in the user manual. We can then test this by connecting the manual XYZ probe to the probe port on the new wiring adapter using the plug adapter included in the fourth axis kit. After connecting the wired probe, you can touch the magnetic connector to the probe block to make a connection and check that this connection is functioning by seeing the probe indicator light up within the diagnostic window of the Carvera controller app. If this is not working, please refer to the wiring steps in the manual, check your connections, and reach out to our support team for further assistance. And again, all Carveras with a serial number that starts with C1R will already have these steps completed. It's now time to attach the fourth axis module to our Carveras and first make sure that the bed of your Carvera is clear with no clamps or spoil boards attached. And we need to also turn off our Carveras before attaching the fourth axis module. Before installing the fourth axis module, we must also slide the headstock and spindle box into its correct position after unboxing. Loosen, but do not remove the four screws holding the headstock, then slide the headstock so it aligns with the leftmost side of the base plate as shown in the manual. You can then tighten the four screws to secure the headstock in its final place. You may also loosen the two screws holding the tailstock so it can be slid along the base for easier installation. Next, install two dowel pins in the preset holes towards the front of your bed, then carefully lower and align the module with these pins while ensuring that the plug for the module is not caught between the module and the bed. Next, secure the module in place using six M5 by 20 screws as shown. Once secured, you can connect the fourth axis module to the new wiring adapter on the left side of the machine using the port that's hidden behind the sliding dust cover. Once connected, you can power on your Carvera to reset and automatically home the fourth axis module. And once connected, we can use the Carvera controller app to test the functionality of the new fourth axis module as well. After launching the app and connecting to our machine with the updated firmware already installed, we can enter the command check underscore fourth into the MDI window to automatically rotate and check the functionality of the fourth axis. If the fourth axis moves correctly and no errors are reported in the command terminal, then the installation is successful. Like the original fourth axis module, the chuck jaws of the rotary module can be tightened and loosened using the two wrenches provided. Rotating the wrenches towards each other will close and tighten our stock while rotating away will open the chuck more. The jaws can also be removed and installed in a different configuration in order to secure stock of different sizes as shown in the other guides on our channel and wiki site. And you can also use the rotation example file already on your Carvera to test the functionality of the new fourth axis with harmonic drive. To secure a typical piece of stock like the epoxy tooling board used in the fourth axis relief example project, we must always find the center point on one edge of our stock first. We also recommend drilling a small hole on the center point in order to assist with securing it within the tail stock of the fourth axis module. To load this stock, we can loosen the chuck of the fourth axis module using the two wrenches provided. We also want to loosen the set screws on the tail stock, but we do not need to remove them entirely. First, loosely place the part in the chuck, then slide the tail stock so it makes contact with the center hole that we drilled earlier. Tighten the two set screws for the rail of the tail stock so it cannot loosen. Next, tighten the chuck jaws so the stock is held securely in the center of the chuck. Next, rotate the knob of the tail stock to press and secure our piece of material, then tighten the set screw at the top of the tail stock. We then typically rotate the stock so that the corner aligns with the vertical axes or up and down as shown in the example guidebook for the Carvera. But before we start to machine anything with the fourth axis, we of course need to prepare our tool head as well for fourth axis operations. To do this, remove the dust shoe entirely and secure the dust pipe using the clip on the head of the Carvera. Then raise and lock the dust shoe bracket in place, and using the air assist module is not required for the fourth axis, but it can be used for chip evacuation and bit cooling. After opening a file for the fourth axis in the Carvera controller app and then switching to the config and run window, we should see that the fourth axis is set for our work origin. We want to set the X offset relative to the right edge of the fourth axis headstock, while the Y offset can be set to be zero. 
For the fourth axis relief project from the examples guide specifically, the X offset should be set to be 50 as shown in the examples guidebook. Scan margin can be enabled which will trace the length of our part using a laser pointer before machining, and Auto Z Probe should also be enabled, which will be set to a fixed position for the fourth axis module. Auto leveling is not used for fourth axis designs. For the rotation example, the roughing job will first be completed using the 3.175 by 25 millimeter single flute end mill loaded into tool one. After this part finishes, you can carefully vacuum away any chips before loading and configuring the finishing example file. For the finishing example file, the X and Y offset should remain the same, and scan margin and Z probe are not needed as this was done in the first job. As outlined in the examples guidebook, the finishing file will be completed using the 0.2 millimeter V bit loaded in tool slot two. Once manufacturing is complete, you can clean off the part using a brush or vacuum and always turn off the Carvera before loosening the chuck and set screws to release your parts from the fourth axis rotary module. And that's all there is to it. While the original fourth axis module offers a wide range of performance and detail for many unique projects, the new fourth axis module offers greater strength and precision, which is more suitable for harder materials like machining metals. Thanks for watching. Of course, please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more projects and tutorials on our Makera channel and wiki site.